how to integrate zoom with slack hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can integrate zoom and slack together so let's get into it now a lot of people know that there are no native integrations available for zoom and slack to be integrated together so how can you integrate these two amazing platforms a lot of people are using slack for their business communications uh you might be using slack for your project for a new project you might be using it for a specific business that you're running and it's very central to have a business communication platform and if slack is your preferred platform then uh, zoom is probably one of the most commonly used platforms for online meetings and conferences because zoom meetings and conferences are super optimized they are very well functioning but how can you integrate these two amazing platforms together well although there is no native integration available we can go on to a third-party app like zapier to be able to integrate both of these platforms so Zapier is another platform that enables you to automate your workflows. The main purpose of Zapier is to basically enable people to integrate different platforms together. Now to get started with creating our integration, the first thing we're going to do is log into our Zoom and Slack account. So I'm going to log into my Zoom account from my Google account just for ease. You're going to log into whatever accounts you might want to link or you can also link new accounts but we're just going to uh, log into our slack and zoom account and once you've done that what you're going to do is you're going to go on to zapier.com now the zapier.com sign up process is very very simple all you have to do is sign up via your email address to be able to get started with zapier so uh, you can just go ahead and start uh, with your zapier journey just by signing in and once you've done that this is going to be your dashboard so so in this dashboard, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll your mouse to the left where you have your navigation panel. In your navigation, you're going to click on my apps over here. If you click on my apps over here, you have different applications that you can integrate onto your Zapier account. So you can see there are so many different applications available that you can link and you can easily uh, customize your linkings. You can really do a lot with the Zapier integration. So other than just Zoom or Slack, there's a lot more you can do, but what you're going to do is you're going to search for zoom so we're going to click on connect over here and then Xavier is going to open up a new tab where they're going to be asking for authentication so you're just going to add this you're going to click on allow this app to use my shared access permissions you're going to click on allow over here and we're just going to click on connect once more and just like that i have connected zoom to my zapier account now once i have connected zoom what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back into my my app section on the left over here once more you're going to go into your search bar and you're going to type slack to search for slack you're going to see and add new connection you have slack so you're going to click on connect on the right side over here and this will open up a new tab asking for authentication so you're going to click on allow over here and you can choose from your top right you're going to choose which workspace of slack you're looking to create so i want to link my fashion brand workspace to my zapier account because that is the one that i want to integrate for my zoom meetings and i'm going to click on allow over here so make sure you're choosing the correct workspace that you want to integrate so just like that i've added these two connections now i can begin automating my entire business so first off the trigger uh where do i want my initial trigger to be so let's say whenever there is a certain thing happening on zoom i want something to happen on slack so the initial thing is going to be the initial trigger is going to be from zoom so for that i'm going to click on my dashboard over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on connect this app and I'm going to enter Zoom first. And this is very important. Where, wherever, whichever platform you want the trigger to be from. So if you want the trigger to be from Zoom, you're going to select Zoom first. If you want the initial trigger to be from Slack, then you're going to select Slack first. So I'm going to search for Zoom. So this is where my initial trigger will be. And then I'm going to connect this with my second application, which is Slack. I'm going to select Slack over here. And then below that, a new table or column will appear where they're going to ask you what is going to be the initial trigger. So let's say whenever a new meeting happens on Zoom, then on Slack, whenever a new meeting happens on Zoom, then maybe I want to send a channel message on Slack. And just like that, I have a simple integration or automation that I have created using Zapier for Zoom and Slack. Now I'm going to click on try it over here on the right side. And then you're going to begin adding some details to your workflow automation. So we've connected our apps. We're going to click on get started over here. 
And then you're just going to connect your Zoom account. We're going to select our Zoom account that we just linked. And then we're going to choose the meeting type. So if it's webinar or meeting, if it's a meeting, then I want to send my channel wide message. And then they're going to connect the data. Obviously, these are like inactive accounts where there isn't a lot of data. So you're just, you can just skip ahead to a actual platform where you have your data and accounts set up. These are just some sample accounts that I created for this integration to be able to be generated. So if you want to do vice versa, where the initial trigger is something you, you want to be from Slack. So if I want the initial trigger to be from Slack, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Zapier, click on connect this app, and I'm going to choose Slack first. So I'm going to choose Slack and then on the second option over here, I'm going to choose Zoom. And now I can set my new Slack trigger. So the Slack trigger that I want maybe could be, let's say when a new channel is created, then I want to create a meeting and then I'm going to click on try it over here. And then I'm going to begin by, by linking my Slack account. I'm going to click on next over here. So now it's acquiring my data from Slack so they can see what uh, channels I already have. Then they're going to connect my Zoom account. And then the type of meeting that I want to add is going to be a simple meeting. And then you're going to enter your fields from Slack into Zoom. So whenever a random name is created and we're going to add the date as well. And then you can also choose the specific time zone. Then you're going to choose a password if you want. And then you can add the duration like so. And then you can click on next over here. And now you can see the meeting type, the topic of the meeting, when time zone, password, and duration. Then you can click on send test. And then you can use the test to verify it. And you can click on your Zoom account to make sure that it is turning on. And then you're just going to click on next. And then you're going to click on turn on zap. And just like that, my Zap or my integration has now being uh, saved and loaded onto both of these platforms. So that is how simple and easy it is to link your or integrate your Zap or uh, integrate both your Slack and Zoom account. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these and techniques that I showed in this video and if you found them helpful make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these share them with your friends with your family with your cousins and share them with any business partners that you might have and it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along and if you enjoyed this video I would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video regarding any other video or regarding any any social platform then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that I could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and I will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video